Uh, so it's Christy with you through till five o'clock. I've got even more studio guests who I'm going to come to shortly talking about the Summerland Memorial Concert. But I am delighted to say uh, that uh, the previous hour's studio guests have stuck around for just a little bit longer. So we've got Brooke and Terry and Simon with us. And uh, you heard a fantastic tune uh, from Terry just before the uh, three o'clock weather there. So I will put a video of that on the Facebook page and portal as well. But um, do you don't just do your own stuff, do you, Terence? You, you, you renew a band as well. Tell us about The Last Drags. Yeah, so basically we've got... It's a five-piece uh, band. Mm-hmm. So we've got Toby on the drums, we've got Bradley on the guitar, and then me on guitar, and then uh, Teresa is the lead singer, and then we swap around, so we both do a bit of singing and harmonising and all that. So we've got the most random, diverse set in like in the whole world we got, what like, sort of stuff give us an idea well we got a bit of kind of like folk then it goes to a little bit funky and then it's just rock and roll so yeah it's just it's because i think it's the thing it's because we've got the two writers me and Teresa. so then you know it's two totally different angles so then we just get the most random so is it all original stuff oh then? yeah yeah that's all originals Amazing. so yeah and then tolby's still in the works of recording our ep so yeah, well, nearly there. <laughs> yeah, nearly there. <laughs> and you obviously played at Dark Horse. I've seen a little video clip, actually. It's re- it sounds so good. It really oh, does. We're going to have to make sure we get to a gig of that as well. Um, Simon, we're talking about recording, and we've been talking at the start of the show about Sound of the Glen. That Recording people outside in a Glen has got to pose some recording problems for you. What are the biggest challenges? Um, rivers. Yeah, rivers and dogs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no, it's always something I've wanted to do, um, what, have a crack at, but it is a challenging thing to do, especially when you can't have any mics in shot, because Brooke didn't want any mics in no. any of the shots. There was a bit of well, bitterness yeah. there. I wanted to avoid them if possible. No, well, yeah, that's all right. It's all, it's all Brooke's fault. It'd be easy without Brooke. Um, no, so you, so can't, you can't sort of close mic people then, it has well, to be it, yeah, ambient just, stuff. Um, fairly far away and yeah. trying to get a nice balance of sound um, obviously it changes with every location so do a couple of shoots on one location and then move to another so everything mm. changes again and you've got a river there or people walking past you've got to contend with yeah. it's uh, constantly changing it's good you need a really good AD who can stand at the side and go, shush people, yeah. don't come past <laughs> well, them. We, we, tried, now. we did try that. But yeah. People just don't, didn't seem to get it. It was like maybe we'd have about 30 seconds left of like shooting a video and then you ask someone, oh, yeah, be quiet and all this. And then they'll just stamp even harder, <laughs> just like, yeah. Oh, so, so, Brooke, tell us about some of the locations you've used so far and where you're hoping to use. Um, so we've only been to two, well, three so far, because the first session we did, uh, it was before I got Talby involved, actually, yeah, Simon involved. Um, that was done at Summer Hill Glen. So that was just with Terry and Teresa. Um, they were actually doing some like works up in the top of the Glen, so we had to do it like nearer to the road so there was like a lot of bikes in the background but it worked out right and uh, we've done Gravel Glen which was beautiful and Ballad Glass Glen I'm looking towards others at the moment don't want to give anything away really but you know it's all like it's all about exploring them myself as well because I haven't been to any of them really myself well from so. your point of view then from the filming point of view what what are some of your sort of biggest challenges then um rain yeah. <laughs> do you but, call it off if it rains um well we luckily haven't had rain on a day yet so because we've had that you know great summer so far Flies. um as it you know it's raining today but we were actually going to have a session this weekend it's kind of nice that we had to postpone it till next weekend because it's giving sun next weekend hooray but, um, the sun is coming back no yeah um there's not much that gets in the way with filming it's just trying to find a nice spot with some nice light if there isn't too much light it now, looks nice anyway. You you are quite famous for doing uh, filming at night time. We've got these fantastic time lapses <laughs> at night that, you, that you're famous for. Are you going to do any any Sound of the Glen at night time? Is that gonna... I've kind of toyed with the idea, but um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'd present it. Yeah, I, maybe like give it a different kind of session name. You know, like highlight it as a different thing. Maybe even make make it like an all electric setup instead. I don't know. It's ideas yet, but. I can, nice. I can hear Simon going, oh, just stop. I haven't, <laughs> even, I haven't even told him yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm encouraging him, Simon. And I apologise for that. Uh, so tell us about what you're recording at the moment, because obviously you're a busy man yourself anyway. You've been doing bits and pieces. Yeah, um, obviously recording our band at the moment, Last Drags, doing a four-track EP. Um, Any do... idea when we're going to get our filthy paws on that one? 
I'll have to set a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> no, hopefully next month we'll get something out. Awesome. We've just got a few finishing bits to do. Well, we'll just have to get you all back in then and, and do a <laughs> session then. That would be amazing. Um, and what else? Also doing some work with Chris Flood. Hooray! Um, taking a completely different angle with his music. <laughs> um, he came in and said, I want to do something electronic, but with guitars as well. And like neither of us knew what we were doing with that side of things. We just thrown in at the deep end and just had to work it out from there. Well, that's quite often where the magic happens, isn't it? It is. Um, so we've been working on that for about a year, but it's it's getting there. We've got vocals to do and we're not far off. Oh, you always have very inventive stuff, Flood, so I look forward to hearing that. Uh, where can where can people find out about what you're doing with regards to recording? Um, Chris Flood's got um, an Instagram post that he's putting up. Um, apart from that, there's not much, to be honest. <laughs> you can just let us know. Uh, I'm going to have one last quick chat with Brooke and then I'm going to see if we can uh, convince Terry to play another song. So get your guitar strapped on there, Terence. Uh, Brooke, tell us about where people can find Sound of the Glen when. Where, could, where can we see all these wonderful uh, films that you've been filming? Um, just search Sound of the Glen, pretty much, you know, most of the main like media platforms. Uh, the majority of it is all based on yeah, YouTube. So that's mm-hmm. where I'm trying to like build the platform up. But you know, you can follow it on like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. Um, yeah, just search for the name and you'll find it. And if you had, if you could choose any one artist or band from the Isle of Man or further afield further afield. to so have anyone. in your Sound of the Glen, who would it be? Ah, that's a tough one. Um, I don't know. Uh, one of the artists that like got me interested in like outdoor live sessions, like. Um, they have like outdoor live stuff from about five years ago. A band called um, The Head and the Heart. Ooh, someone I need to look up. Yeah, I'm not. I think their styles a bit ch- changed a bit these days. But they used to do really nice like uh, uh, like low key acoustic stuff. Um, mm-hmm. It sounded really really nice. So would you be up for other artists approaching you if they might want to do a sound of the glass? Yeah, uh, anyone that wants to get involved, I'm happy to you know include them. Um, the list is getting quite long now. So I'm, I'm trying sure to, it is. I'm trying to get through people, but um, no, yeah. Um, as I say, it doesn't have to be limited to anything, whether acoustic or electric. You know, we'll try and make something work. Uh-huh. Um, even bands further afield, yeah. Excellent. Well, and, and as you were saying, Terry, as well, it's just a great way to sort of get your music out there in a really yeah, yeah. interesting way, isn't it? So, And speaking of, uh, we are going to hear another tune now from Terence George, who was the first person on the uh, Sound of the Glen film series. What are you going to play for us now, Terry? What is it? Jack and Storm will tell me what you want. I can sense it. So come on. Whatever more PG, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, do keep it PG. Ah, it is a Sunday I'll be afternoon. Storm, I'll be storm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terry, take it away. I sense a storm coming, picking up speed like a train running. I hear the engine churning and I smell the fire burning. But it won't keep me from you I see the clouds rolling my way I try and take a deep breath And blow them away Something's cooking for you and me, my dear But it won't keep me from you Cause you don't have to think about it Too much if we want to make it work can always make it work My darling, why do you dim your light so low? You know we'll make it through Just like we always do I know that you can change the weather But you can just put on your best coat I stand under my umbrella Just enjoy the ride so let it rain, let it pour outside I can't wait till it subsides You may be cold, but at least you got your coat Just stay by my side Cause you don't have to think about it So much if we want to make it work We can always make it work My darling, why do you dim your light so low? Like we always do Since when were you scared? 
traveled it all rain Since when were you scared? I've a little rain Since when were you scared? I've a little rain Oh, we